the best kit I find is one made by Manutech. I know you shouldn't mention brand names, but there are other kits around and they just don't stack up as far as reliability and accuracy as goes. As far as you're concerned. Well, I've spoken to many farmers that use these and they all say the same thing, same brand, don't buy any other brand. Okay. So it's Australian brand, Australian made, so I'm not promoting a foreign entity. Uh, and it consists of a, of a plastic plate and a buffer and a powder you put on and also a colour chart which you hold against your, your sample so you just dig a, dig a sample in the soil and I've, this spot here you so can see got a knife here, is that pocket knife to get the soil sample this is burmetic there's some plantain some grasses uh, these, these are all good quality pasture plants and the, what, the reason I do the pH is because the, it has a lot to do with what grows in the paddock. Mm. So we just pull that apart. You can see it's very dense, a lot, dense ground cover. Mm, wonderful winter growth. Get down into the, the soil and I just cut a bit of a sample of soil out on the end of the knife like so. And if there's large pieces of organic matter, flick them out because they're always going to be acidic, like plant roots, etc. That's a good point. Yeah, the, the rhizosphere around a plant is always the most acidic part of the soil. And we're really looking for the overall pH or background pH, if you like. A few drops of this buffer. You can see that soil is... Drops. Let's get it right. Yep. Is it three drops? Or no, just, well, the idea is to make a paste. There's about five or six there. And you might have to add some more. And you just want to mix it up and make a paste. And if you put too much on, just add a bit of soil. So just mix it up. That'll do. It's a very simple process. And this is very reliable. It's, it, I, I do it because it's pretty much foolproof. And you get this powder, sprinkle a bit on it, so how and much it, do you know to sprinkle on? Oh, well, you just want to put a bit of a covering on it. These things sometimes get a, whoops, a bit sticky. There you go. And that takes about a minute to develop. And So when you say a minute, you actually mean around about 60 seconds? Right? Yeah, around about that. I, yeah. don't, I don't want to be yeah. misconstrued a minute mark, just a it's a yeah. term of phrase. Okay. Yes, yeah, about one minute to develop the colour. And then you hold the chart against it, and it's not a minute yet. And I, when, when we've done this, we'll go down the paddock to where there's a monoculture of lovegrass, mm -hmm. and we'll do another one, and you'll see that there'll be a difference in pH. I haven't done this for some time. In fact, the last time I did it in this area at a field day was probably about four years ago, and I don't think it's changed dramatically. As soon as you get to a monoculture, then monocultures above ground have a monoculture below ground um, microbially okay. so you get a, a big percentage of bacteria under a monoculture whether it's love grass or in kangaroo grass if there's a monoculture there's an imbalance above ground and there'll be a biological imbalance below ground right. so we can see on this now that you hold the chart against it and it's between six and a half and seven. No. Six. How close can you get between six and a half and seven by observation? If, but if you do it often enough, I, I find I can get to within point two. Point two? Yep. And that's close enough. You only want a ballpark figure. So that so could be, you. by looking at that now, we could, instead of saying six and a half comes seven, it is closer to... I'd say it's closer to six and a half than seven. I'd say that's about 6.6, 6.7, somewhere around there. Remarkable accuracy, Remarkable accuracy, isn't it? It is, for a simple tool. Mm. And it's foolproof. If you use an electronic device that relies on a buffer, you don't know the quality of the buffer. And if the buffer is, is going off or has gone off... Or you haven't zeroed it. Yeah. With still distilled water or whatever. Yes. Mm. Then you get an inaccurate reading and you have no knowledge, no way of knowing whether it's accurate or not. Whereas this, this is foolproof. And it doesn't matter if it's, uh, if it's not to point one or point two. You just want a range. Mm.